Jared Polin Fro knows photo.com here with another raw edit of the week where you will get your chance to download this raw file and see what you can do with it because this is going to be an interesting one and the reason I say that is because this photo is already pretty darn close straight out of the camera uh, I am gonna do my edit and I asked Adam to come back this week to see what he will do with this edit and then we'll compare and and look at each other's edits and and talk about them but you know, let's look at the settings right here. 1 200th of a second f5 ISO 100 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. Um, let's see with the Nikon D80. So pretty sure that we're looking at a flash photo and this is a solid image. Just it's a solid shot right away. Great composition, great smile on this lady's face. It's just like a really well composed image, uh, nicely exposed. And for editing purposes, I'm probably going to want to clean up this side, you know, bounce some light back into the face because you can see that it's pretty much one light source coming in over here. And I don't believe it's a window. Uh, I'm pretty sure that it it's a flash based on the reflections here and the fall off over here and the fact that it's at ISO 100 along with the, uh, the shutter speed and the F5. Uh, one thing I did notice here, it looks like that this is dust on the center. Not sure if that's on the wall but it really looks like dust on the center but how would we edit this and I think we're gonna stick well I almost said I think we're gonna stick with color I'm not really sure yet um, but we do need to fill in some light over there I need to turn off tweet deck which I thought that I did goodbye tweet deck um, just to fill up the light you know we can change the exposure go bright a little more uh, I don't want to lose too much detail in this area and also we're bringing out some shadow over here but let's see what happens when we bump our contrast slightly. That really, really tightens it up right there. And that was just a little contrast bump. And you'll notice when you shoot flash photography, just a subtle little contrast bump is going to really make, well, it's going to go a long way, a lot longer than with non-flash photos. It's just something that's interesting there. Uh, so is this a little too warm? I mean, too cold? Let's warm it up slightly. Oh, hold on. There we go. E I don't know. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to leave it. Let's see. Where did it start? Yeah, that's a little too uh, cold, so let's warm it up slightly. Let's see what we can do with some magenta. Don't like too much magenta. Don't like too much green. I think it's right on where it's at right now. Um, now let's do this. Just Now we're going to get into subtle, subtle things. So I changed it, and it, what it did is it made it brighter on the right-hand side, and you can actually see that, yeah, this is dust or dirt, and we can easily take that out right here with the healing do it right there and we can make it smaller here I'm just on the magic mouse I'm just uh, basically scrolling down or scrolling up you know this is up make the make a, the circle bigger or make the circle smaller I really like the background darker so let's see if I can go back on the exposure slightly um, I really would like the separation I like the way that her eyes are popping a little bit. Don't want to go too far with the fill light. I mean, it has a nice little golden hue to it, but I would like to get rid of this background. So I, I pulled back on this for the time being because I don't mind that it, she's not fully filled in on the right hand side or basically the, her left side of her face. This is really good. I and mean, this is a do we pull back on clarity? I don't know, but you don't really want to go too high. That's what's going to happen. Um, clarity is going to basically take, and it's, it's a form of sharpening that's going to really, really make the edges harsh. So I'm going to pull back slightly. I'm going to do a minus 14. I think that's nice and soft. Um, and let's work on darkening this other area over here. And see if I like it or don't like it. You know what could work here? Could use. Oops. We could use a. Uh, actually, it's not as bad right now over there. Yeah, that darkened it a little bit, so I'm going to keep that. Because it just. Yeah.
try to get rid of that as much as possible. Oops. And we could do a vignette. Let's see how the vignette would look. Yeah, yeah, there we go. It's it's basically tightening up. Yeah, it's drawing you back into the middle. I'm going to go with that. Don't like that. Moving that over there. Softening it up. Yeah, that's harsh, and then this is if you soften the feather. So I'm pretty happy with that. I like that. That's where it started, and you can see, I think it's... Re now my eye is going directly to her face, more so than being drawn off to the side of the image. Now, I'm not sure if I did enough over here. I don't like when it keeps doing that. Um, I'm not sure if I did quite enough. So I'm going to pull it over a little further. How much further can I go without ruining the image? There we go. I'm thinking I'm liking that. And I don't want to go too far because there is some detail there. All right. Hmm. Well, I'm going to go back. I'm going to pull back slightly again. No, it actually didn't affect too much, but I want to go back a little bit. I just wanted to get rid of the right-hand side right over here because uh, I thought it was too harsh. You know, that was where we started. You can see how flat. I mean, that's what you got with the raw file. And then just gave it a nice golden look here. And now let's see if any more can be done in, in her face area. And that just brings it, fills it in just a little bit. It was like we had a kicker light over there. Uh, not too much further on the contrast today. Not going to make it go too boom just because it just it just wouldn't work in this case. Um, I think that this is a nice representation. Ah, you know, I'm thinking it's too far because it seems too... I'm going to pull back on that fill light more because we're losing that Rembrandt lighting right here, which is the triangle, the triangle right here under the face. That's Rembrandt lighting. Um... Yeah, I don't want it to go too far, so that's that's what I'm going to do. I know I've been going on with this and playing around, but let's just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I'm sure it could keep going a little bit more, but I just, I, w I don't want it fully lit on the right-hand side, or left-hand side of her face because the light source is coming in from over here, and there is a little bit of spill over there. I would have liked to have seen a kicker in there, but this is, ah, I keep going back and forth. I'm going to go with a little bit more brightness over there because of this area right up here. So I think I'm going to go with that. This is where it started. This is where I ended up going through the vignetting and cutting down on some of the light over here on the right-hand side just so that you're drawn in right to her, her face. We took out some uh, blem uh, blemishes. We took out some dust in the background, and this is how we got to here. So, Adam, you are up. Let's see what you came up with. I'm interested to see. We have a really nice portrait here. Um, this image, raw image, right out of the camera looks terrific. It's really sharp, the focus is nice, the color balance is really nice, uh, I, I really do like the framing, and uh, I think as far as portraits, kind of headshots go, I think this is a terrific image. I personally love shooting portraits, and I think the photographer did a really excellent job. One thing we can see is, judging from the way that the light is hitting her face, um, where I can guess that this person was sitting uh, by a window and the thing that's terrific about window light is that it's nice diffused light uh, it's not necessarily important what time of day as long as it's sometimes during the day and we've got nice diffused light which is uh, gently falling on the right side of her face and then we've got some nice shadow fall on the left side of her face which is is really flattering I like that this uh, negative space here is is black because she pops from the, the background and I'm, the only thing I would say is I'm not a huge fan about this side of the frame. Uh, I find this to be a bit distracting and take away a bit from the subject. There's some sensor dust um, here which you're going to get when you're shooting against a neutral background that's light. Uh, if your sensor's dirty, you're going to see these spots. Not a big deal. Just uh, would recommend that this photographer maybe consider getting the sensor cleaned. All right. 
So one of the very first things I want to do here is uh, just adjust the white balance. Uh, I'm just going to bring this up a little bit, just warm it up just a tad, uh, though it doesn't need very much. And we're just going to go there. I'm just going to give it a, a little bit more exposure, um, not too much. I'm going to add some fill. Um, I don't want to go too crazy with the fill because we go like that and, you know, it doesn't look bad. I mean, it was nicely shot, but uh, to me that's not nearly as compelling as this image right here. So I'm just going to add just a little bit so we get some more shadow detail. Uh, maybe bump the blacks up a tad like that. Add some contrast without going too crazy because I don't want the uh, details in here to disappear. Um, add a little bit of clarity. Now with the clarity we can go two ways. We can either drop it way down, soften the image. Um, I'm not really a fan of that look. I would much prefer to see this image sharper and more uh, to accentuate a lot of the nice lines in her face. Um, you know, we can go like this. It looks almost too metallic. Uh, that's too much for me. So let's let's kind of split the difference and let's go right there. And, and I really like that. I think that the, the lines in her face are really nice. She's got a really nice face. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlights over here just to give it a little bit more pop. Again, too much highlight blown out, too little kind of flat and grayish. So just a little bit of highlight detail right there. Um, we'll go down to the HSL. And I'm not necessarily choosing all these menus because I think, oh, I've got all these menus, I wanna use them. I'm really doing this because it went, for portraits, there's certain things that I really do like to do. Um, so again, with, uh, I'm gonna go to the HSL, I'm gonna grab the orange luminance, and I'm just gonna drop it down a little bit and keep it about there. I like that the skin tone to me is looking really, really nice. Um, uh, let's see, sharpening. Uh, we can take our selector tool, grab the eye, which we want to make sure is sharp, and just do that. Um, let's see, uh, and the reason for this is you can see if you look in the eyelashes, you know, the more sharp you go, the more detail you have on them. So I'm gonna bring it to about there, and then I'm going to use the masking tool by holding down the Option key, and I'm really just going to make sure that I sharpen only the edge detail that I want, which is, you know, all this kind of stuff. All right, so let's see. One of the things that really bothers me that I said in the beginning is this area here. I would like to see how this image looks by eliminating that. So I'm gonna use a brush tool, I'm gonna to select burn or darken, and I'm gonna bring the exposure all the way down. All right, I'm gonna use some broad, uh, big brush strokes just to basically get rid of this huge negative space over here. And then what I'll ultimately do is refine the brush using the navigator and the zoom um, to get more close to the edge detail. So let's zoom in there. We're gonna get in on the edge here and I'm just going to bring it in. I've got, you can see two rings here. And the reason for that is the center ring is the mostly concentrated area and the outer ring is where I'm feathering so that I have, I'm not basically drawing a black line. It's, it's blending, if you wanna call it that, uh, against the, uh, the side of the, uh, the, the detail over here. Let me just get down in here and I'll just do a little bit more. I'm just gonna kinda do this roughly for now and then I'll check it um, in just a minute. Um, but again, I just wanna get rid of this detail um, in the background here because I find it to be distracting and, and taking away from what otherwise is a really fantastic and I think beautifully lit uh, portrait of, of, um, of this woman right here. And I like images that are not distracting. Um, if this was an environmental portrait and you had an image of this woman doing something that was relative to who she is or where she's from, uh, I think the background information would be great, you know, more of an environmental portrait. But I think in this case, the background information was not that appealing. And to me, this is looking a lot better now. I'm just going to go in and refine some of these details a little bit further because we've got some of this kind of ghosting around her ear and like that. And it's okay if we lose a little bit of the detail here because it's basically just going to blend into the background and that's the idea. So I'm just going to bring this up over here, just do something like that. All right, and there we go. I'm going to close that tool and I'm going to look at the image. And I really like that. I think that this is a strong portrait. Um, now that the background is so dark, I'm just going to bring in the fill light just a little bit, um, not too much. And I'm going to just uh, touch up a little bit of this right here because we don't want uh, any of that. Um, 
And let's say that is our final edit. Um, really happy with this. I think the photographer did a fantastic job. I think it's a lovely portrait. And there we go. That's my edit. And here we are, Adam. Thank you for joining us again this week. You have a very, very solid looking edit on the person's face. I I'm really interested to see what you did because yours looks more. Did you use recovery or something? Uh, no, no recovery on this one. Yeah, because I mean, her, she, like, I'm a little on the blown out side. Yours looks like to have much nicer skin tone, looks a little cleaner. So I have to go back and watch what you did. Yeah, I kind of have like a process for doing portraits, and I went through that a bit, and um, I thought that her face was just perfect for that. Yeah, I mean, this is a very interesting photo to try to edit. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what everybody comes up with this week, because it's, it's a tough, I think it's a little tough, you know, well, it was, it's well lit, um, but it was very tough to edit. Yeah. Uh, you chose to, I, I, you know, I wanted to blacken out the background, but I didn't decide to take the whole background out. Uh, when did you decide to do that? It was the first thing that really hit me. I mean, I, I saw the, the, the dark space on the right side of her face, and I saw the cushion and I guess what appeared to, appeared to be like a seat back or something behind her, and I just found that to be very distracting. Yeah. Uh, even looking at your edit, I'm just, I'm, I, for whatever reason, my eyes just drawn right to that. And uh, I just felt, you know, let's just let's just clean it up, man. Let's just get rid of that and have her just pop out of the frame. And she definitely does pop out of the frame. And, you know, I went for a little bit with the vignette to try to draw it back in, to try to get you to come back into that area. I mean, mm -hmm. I still do see what you're saying with coming back to this um, pillow. W would this be something you would take in the Photoshop or you think you're fine doing it where you did it right here? I mean, I think that if I was really a spectacular retoucher, <laughs> which I don't ever claim to be, um, yeah, maybe I would have done you know some kind of a content to wear fill or something in uh, Photoshop. But again, the background that was behind her, that that kind of neutral colored wall, wasn't really compelling. You know, there wasn't really anything that gave you gave you a sense of time or place or anything that I felt was interesting. So I thought that it was perfectly cool just to just to get rid of it sure yeah i definitely have to go back and see what your final settings were because this you know you know my style of editing which is just touch this yep. touch this and touch that um <laughs> it's it's more like i was saying in the studio when you're in the studio and you pump up your contrast if you pump it too much i mean every little subtle movement on contrast goes a long way when it comes to things that are strobed absolutely so i and i did mention that and i didn't want to go too far because I didn't want it to be, you know, over the top. And I, you know, it just, I'm, I'm looking at what you did here and just, it's a clean edit. You know, I think I may have made it, ended up making it too yellow. Um, mm. you know, it's, it's not terrible, but I just think yours has a lot of dimension, even zoomed in like yeah. that, just a lot of dimension. And yeah, it would be cool if the background was totally dark on the other, uh, but you did a great job, you know, getting rid of it. Um, well, yeah. the thing is, too, is that the way that her body was positioned, you know, her her left shoulder was also catching the light. There's still, you know, plenty of light on the left side of her face. So, you know, she still pops out of the frame despite the background kind of being absent on her left side. This is a, you know, it, it's just an, it's a great photo. Fantastic. You really, know, the, really nice work. Yeah, and you, you got a little picture. bit of Rembrandt lighting there on the, on the left side of the cheek. You can see the, mm -hmm. the, the triangle right here. Um, Absolutely. Would you you probably would have bounced a little bit of fill light in over here? You know, it's one of these things. It's hard to say. I mean, a little bit of fill light maybe would have just brightened up her face, you know, and given more of a beauty shot. But she's got like such, you know, distinct uh, lines in her face that I, I kind of like the way that, you know that this looks. Yeah. No, I, I like it a lot. I, I like what you did. And taking out the background totally gets rid of all the distractions, and just allows it uh, allows her to basically speak for the image. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that I might have considered differently would have been to have either stood in a different position or maybe positioned her slightly differently to have eliminated that, uh, you know, the, the seat cushion sure. in the background. But all in all, very interesting. Fantastic image. Yep. Really strong, really nice. Yeah, and your, your edit, edit solid. Um, yeah, solid, solid edit. So I really, really am interested to see how everybody else does this because it's not often that I've thrown up 
a uh, studio shot. This is one of the... I, I can't remember right now if we've thrown up any other beauty shot. Sorry, studio type shots in the past. But this is going to be interesting to see what everybody comes up with. And if they take the background out, if they decide to leave it, if they do something different with it. It's, it's going to be very interesting. You know, and, and the thing is, is that I should just, you know, say that you sent me this uh, raw image without any uh, information about it. You didn't say where it was taken, how it was shot, if it was studio, if it was not. And, you know, from the way that I saw it, I saw it as just kind of natural, diffused window light. Um, but uh, as a studio shot, it's still, you know, really strong, really compelling. Oh, I, I was trying to figure out if it was studio light or natural oh, light. I Huh? I see. I, I get the sense that this was taken, you know, next to a window. And and then I also looked at it and said, well, based on the shutter speed, the ISO, and the aperture, that it's possible that it was a flash at two hundredth mm. of a second at f five, I believe, at a hundred ISO. Either that, or it was taken at f five because there was quite a bit of light flooding in from that window, and. Um, you know, rather than compensating uh, with a faster shutter speed, uh, the photographer decided just to uh, up the aperture. It's it's still hard to tell. I mean, I I looked at it for quite a while before I recorded, and it's it's hard to tell. So, I don't know. Maybe the photographer, huh? Super sharp, real nice. Oh yeah. So I'd be interested to see what you guys think. Do you think it's uh, window light, or do you think it's a strobe, or or what? I don't know. Anything else yep. you want to add to it, Adam? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm looking at your edit here, and um, you know, I, I like mine better. <laughs> um, I just uh, I, I think you did a nice job with it. I think you did the, you know, nice job with the boomification. I think the skin tones are nice. Um, it's it's definitely softer looking. Yeah. Um, which you know, again, is you know, when, when in looking at portraits, you can definitely make that choice. You know, you can either give it a softer look or, or, or a little bit of a more, um, you know, I don't know, harsher look or just more contrasty. And I went for something that really accentuated, you know, the lines in her face. Yeah, I want to go back and, and watch your, your video and see exactly Same. what I you want did. To see yours. Huh? I want to see yours, too. I'm interested. Yeah, and well, I definitely made the choice not to go too high on the boomification and, and actually pull back slightly. So we're going to leave it at that this week. I think your, your edit's fantastic. I think that's a solid, I just love what it looks, I just love how it pops out. Um, cool. And it's just a solid, it just, it, I think it has a lot more dimension than the way that I edit it. So interested to see what you guys do. Grab this file from the forum. If you haven't signed up for the forum yet, it's as simple as doing Facebook connect. And then you can download this raw file of the week Throw your edit up there and let everybody see what you were able to do. And for you guys who are still looking to send in a raw file, you can do it to froknosephoto at gmail.com. Send in a raw file. We've been on a planes, trains, and automobiles kick for a while, but we can definitely accept anything else, portraits, sports, just anything. It doesn't really matter. If uh, if it's editable and, and cool, definitely th send it in, and we will see what we come up with. Adam, thank you. Great job this week. Thanks, Jared. All right. And until next week, Jared Poland, froknosephoto.com. See ya.